The Gwent League has been going for, it was 50 years last year they had an anniversary dinner. Um, so it's a big cross-country league founded over towards Newport. Um, and races are all around the south of Wales, coming across uh, in, in Bristol, uh, Blaise Castle today, very often over in Bath, and we've been down as far as south as Exeter even in the league. Uh, so Gwent is a bit inappropriate because it goes way beyond Gwent, but it's a very popular South Welsh league. Despite its name, the Gwent League attracts clubs along the M4 corridor from Bath to Carmarthen and from Barnstable to Bracken. Without the, without the volunteers, these events don't uh, just don't happen. I mean, I came up here not very early this morning and found a lot of people working uh, on the course and in fact some of them have been working yesterday to get the course ready uh, and the same of course with normal training that all the people who take the groups out are volunteers and without them you wouldn't have a club. <laughs> well, I joined the club about ooh, two and a half years ago and I got volunteered for the volunteer coordinator role um, so it's just getting lots of people out to help marshal and direct people in the right direction and um, make sure they all turn up on time so it's it, it tends to work out on the night um, <laughs> but it can be a bit hair raising when you're waiting for people to show up but it's good everyone helps out. Blaise Castle has been the venue for home cross-country races since 1924 when Westbury Harris was first founded since then the club has continued to grow year on year and is now a well-established host When it was first founded, it was quite small and, and mostly over Newport Gwent Way, um, but has gradually expanded in popularity um, and, uh, and, and clubs. Clubs all the way over to Carmarthen, certainly. I'm not sure if there's any clubs further beyond them. Brecon, we go up to Brecon for the next fixture, which is the final fixture of the league. Weather depending, a feature of these events is the tent city, with every club bringing a large tent to protect it from the elements and colourful flies to identify its presence. We've had the Gwent League here at Blaise Castle ever since I, I've been here. I moved down to Bristol in 1984 um, and I can remember from the word go that uh, Westbury Harriers would organise an event here most years, obviously with five in the season covering quite a large area. You don't always get to stage an event, but uh, usually the Blaze is one of the popular venues, so we usually get to stage an event here at Blaze Castle. The day is a very family-orientated event and an opportunity for people to share stories and catch up over a beverage and snack at the Westbury Harriers Clubhouse. Hi, I'm Val Davison, I come from Cardiff. Um, I got into officiating in about 92. I worked at Cardiff Athletic Stadium where you're asked to rake the pit, do this, and today's favour, as you know, is tomorrow's duty. Uh, I ended up doing a starter marksman uh, course, which I passed, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, cross country, track, and indoors. Um, I quite enjoy it, I've made a lot of new friends and it means you're out and about, fresh air, what more do you want? Our timekeepers, they will be shared out with a scribe 
uh, so that they're not doing consecutive races. They'll do a race, have a rest, do a race, you know, it depends on the number of timekeepers. So I will shout out times and the scribe will record them um, and we measure only to the nearest second, the nearest second. Whereas uh, obviously in track athletics one has to be far more precise. And usually in track athletics now in any case it is all done electronically to the second place of decimals. Whereas uh, we hand timers record to a hundredth of a second but adjust to the first place of decimals. Red Cross first aiders play an important role at the Gwent Cross Country League and the presence can be seen throughout the day, ensuring the well-being of participants is paramount. The Red Cross treat a variety of injuries, most common being muscle strains and torn ligaments. Uh, lots of things can go wrong. My role is actually to make sure everybody has a, a fair start, as you know. Um, cross country is not so bad, we just say on your marks, bank. Track, of course, is a bit more involved. You have to watch for false starts, infringements on the line, etc. Um, also, I do assembly or call room indoors, which you have to check leg numbers, uh, numbers, names. They've got their numbers on back front, that's a bit more involved. Uh, now and again, things can go wrong, which I've ended up with half of them. Uh, from a gun uh, misfiring. Um, mm. But now I've got so many nicknames, such as Nine and Three Quarters and Tom Thumb, <laughs> which I don't mind, I just laugh it off. Uh, well, I've been in the Gwent League for about 20 years, and I think uh, officiated for about 29. Oh, yes, people have come and gone, but the league has gone from strength to strength, mm -hmm. and still continuing as one of the main leagues in the UK in our time. The character of cross country racing is undoubtedly unique with participants competitively racing one another and then congratulating each other in the finisher's funnel, very much reinforcing the comradeship of the event. The Gwent League is very much an open event, with Blaze Castle holding 10 races during their hosting. The youngest participants are 9 years old and the eldest are in their 70s. The senior men's event attracts the most participants, with some 390 expected to race. This undoubtedly makes a great spectacle at the Gwent League event. Hi, I'm Tamsin, I'm the ladies team manager for Westby Harriers. Um, so we had 24 ladies running today who all run really well. So I'm just about to go and do the numbers and get the results in and then get back out on the course and cheer the men on. Enjoy the race today? Yeah, it was nice, lovely weather. It's lovely to be out in the fresh air when it's weather like this. And good atmosphere, friendly. What more could you want? Sarah takes a... Well, you want to talk now about Oh, I just take a group, I coach a group on Monday nights. We just do like five and a half mile and I shout at them mostly. Right. Stop and go run over. It's good, it's good fun. Brilliant. I don't know, I'd say today's good fun because it's flipping hard work. That looked very hard. Because <laughs> you know every inch, we know every inch of this because it's our home course. Yes. So, yeah. It's hard. Well done. Hi, I'm, I'm Chris. Um, I'm running in the men's race today at Gwent League. I've uh, done a bit of training. I'd run every once or twice a week with uh, Westby Harriers. And uh, yeah, it's really good fun. It's, uh, it's quite a competitive, quite a tough race, but um, it's more the taking part. I don't expect to sort of do that brilliantly. The top 100 would do me. And um, as my mate says, if you come in the top third, you're doing really well. And it's, uh, it's all about the taking part as far as I'm concerned. It's a lovely, glorious, sunny day. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I started running at 16 and then sort of still do a little, well, not so much now, but up to a few years ago, I was doing a lot. And ran for the club in all the major championships and we've come away with a few, you know, teams and won, won the Midland Championship, senior and an intermediate, when I was under 17s. Brilliant. And um, just always enjoyed it, really, and helped the club. And finally, we caught up with the winner of the senior men's race. I just want to say congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, just like, what kind of work goes into this, obviously? How much training and all the rest yeah. of it? Um, pay back, I suppose. Um, I don't do as much as some of the other people, I don't think. I do about oh, 70, 75 miles a week, possibly. Wow. But, um, but like I say, a lot do a lot more, so 
but this kind of that would break me if I do much more. <laughs> I, I find this works for me, but uh, yeah, it's all in the build-up for London Marathon. Yeah. So uh, that's what the main aim is at the moment. So uh, yeah, this is just a nice little workout really. So um, see how we're going. Do you go to all the Quantney places? Um, I've done them all this uh, season so far. Yeah, and I have done them over the years as well. Yeah. Lovely. Um, I don't always do the whole series, but I think I will this year now. So uh, it's been as there's only one left, and I think I'll be leading now after that. So uh, yeah, we'll give it a give it a whirl. Brilliant. We'll give it a whirl. It's always good. They're good. Brilliant. Lovely surroundings. Yes, lovely day. Good competition. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's a nice atmosphere. Yeah. So uh, can't fault it really.